It is absolutely baffling and heartbreaking to watch a manipulated viral video edited and cleverly spliced without the beginning and end to negatively change the context of an innocent and playful interaction between His Holiness the Dalai Lama with a young Indian student. Now, we do live in a new era of synthetic media, but if you are willing to open your mind and make decisions without assumptions, and even fact check the quality of the tailored information that you have received, then I encourage you to watch this video till the end where I will pull the full unedited interaction between His Holiness and the young Indian student. For the context to the video online, the woman sitting on the stage there is the boy's mother. Here's the boy breaking a coconut as an auspicious tradition as His Holiness was returning back to his residence. You probably did not see any of these. Uh, you were not meant to see any of these. So please remember them as you watch the unedited video later. My name is Jigmi and I'm a Tibetan. What makes a world beautiful is how we are able to share our differences in cultural practices, beliefs, and traditions. We have learned to grow in that global diversity and inclusion while trying to understand and acknowledge the various perspectives and approaches to cultural patterns for religions and social classes while learning to respect and appreciate different cultural etiquettes, especially around kindness, curiosity, and respect. Every day before I left my house, my now deceased father and I would touch our foreheads, kiss on our lips before waving goodbye. That tradition lasted for 31 years of my life. In our Tibetan culture, touching our foreheads and kissing signifies the recognition of our proximity and spirituality. My parents never said, I love you, like many Tibetan parents, but they never needed to because our unique customs, beliefs, and our ancient traditional practices of mutual love were constant reminders and part of our daily lives. Whether it be stretching out our arms and bowing to welcome strangers, or touching a friend's shoulder or holding their hands in public as a sign of friendship, or sticking out our tongues as a sign of respect, Now, these practices might seem backward and weird in today's world, but they are our social norms, our social behaviors. It is what defines us as Tibetans and our ways of life. His Holiness the Dalai Lama, a Tibetan Buddhist monk, has been in the eyes of the world since birth for 87 years living a pure monastic life of celibacy, a spiritual guru of an entire religion, considered a, a living Buddha of compassion, our Cherisi, the patron saint of Tibet. He has attended Nirvana. Nirvana, a state of freedom from all sufferings that we as Buddhists believe can only be achieved by removing all personal wishes and overcoming negative emotions. They say that the deepest lines on His Holiness's face are his laugh lines. He brings joy, laughter, and mutual enrichment to our world, selflessly and tirelessly promoting religious harmony and peace forever. On the global stage, on any platform, he treats every religious or political leader, celebrity, or, or any member of the audience, young or old, with banter and playfulness. He is celebrated and loved for his teaching of compassion, forgiveness, contentment, and tolerance. He is appreciated for introducing the world with the joys of living the Tibetan way of life, our cultural practices, beliefs, and traditions. It seems like many people in these turbulent times 
being forced in an environment where we are meeting people virtually or making e-connections have completely forgotten what human connection means. In our Tibetan culture, our elders, especially our grandparents who really didn't have much to give or offer, would affectionately make fun of a child when they asked for something. Uh, you could, a child could ask them for a candy or some pocket change, and the elder will lovingly barter for affection and then trap you with a joke or a riddle. First, give me a kiss on my cheek. I need you to touch your forehead on my forehead. Let's touch our noses. Uh, give me a kiss. Uh, which means I gave you everything, so the only th thing left for me is for you to eat my tongue. So the child probably never gets the candy or money, but gets a beautiful lesson on life, love, and uh, family. That is exactly what His Holiness tenderly did to the child, the boy who asked for a hug. He gave him as much love, affection, and kindness as one would receive from a Tibetan family. The viral video doesn't show His Holiness holding the child's hand on to his cheeks and praying with the child and giving him personal advices before tickling him with his uh, larger-than-life laughter. Now, that is exactly how our elders in our communities show affection with our children. It is what a 87-year-old did to a child. This show of physical love and emotion is what defines us as Tibetans and our simple ways of life and love. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We are the same human brothers and sisters. Thank you. Now, you should look those good human beings who create peace, happiness, uh, should not follow those human beings who always killing other people. You should not look these people. <laughs> when the boy asked His Holiness for a hug, Can I hug you? as his baffled mother waved at him from the stage, from a seat, uh, uh, one seat away from his holiness. It literally took two people, a couple of attempts to interpret the boy's request. It's a question. Okay, come. <laughs> now his holiness is not fluent in English. He's a self-taught English speaker. If were there words lost in translation when he said, suck my tongue, the chele sa, eat my tongue? Absolutely, yes, it was. There was words lost in translation. I vividly remember watching this video. Oh, to the people who are saying that this video was hidden and uh, it just came out, well, it was a global live telecast from outside the Tsukla Khan, the main temple in Dharamsala, where His Holiness was addressing over 120 uh, Indian graduate students about valuing empathy, inclusion, and trust. This happened on February 28, 2023. That was a month ago, more than a month ago. So the bigger question is, why is an edited version of this video surfacing now? Uh, let's put a pin to that for now. So I vividly remember watching this video and like many Tibetans, I was a bit envious and happy for the student for receiving such reverence and love. In fact, when you watch the unedited, unedited video later, you will also notice a Tibetan gentleman taking a photo to capture this beautiful interaction. At moments like this, we Tibetans say, Kapsho Che, Kapsho Che, is a small prayer of veneration to thank and cherish His Holiness's playful nature. And for the person receiving this personal good gesture and acts of kindness of having good karma from their previous life. His Holiness the Dalai Lama is not only the 
religious leader of the Tibetan people, but he's the manifestation of the Tibetan nation and his peaceful and honest struggle against a cruel, despotic, and totalitarian colonial power. Now, why was a live telecast of an event that happened more than a month ago was tailored and viciously marketed a week ago? So on March 23rd, 2023, His Holiness the Dalai Lama named and formally enthroned the 10th reincarnation of Kalka Jichu Dampa Rinpoche as the spiritual leader of Mongolia. He was enthroned as one of the highest Buddhist leaders, the head of the Gelukpa Buddhist school in the landlocked nation of Mong Mongolia. The ceremony in Dharamsala was attended by over 600 Mongolians and over 5,000 monks and nuns. This event immensely provoked the rage of the CCP, which has been doing everything. The CCP has been doing everything to control and stop the spread of Buddhism. This ceremony shook them to speculate that the now retired Dalai Lama still continued to remain as a political religious force to reckon across Buddhist nations, including Tibet. The CCP dictator Xi was supposedly stumped since their worst nightmare had turned into a reality. CCP has been brutally obsessed with making sure that Buddhist leaders were elected through Communist Party regulations. And they are overly obsessed with the selection of the next Dalai Lama, the 15th Dalai Lama, to be selected and approved with the CCP's blessing. So literally a week after this ceremony, the video clip surfaced. The timing was once again like clockwork to sway the public's opinion about Tibet and His Holiness. It was, of course, sensationalized into a clickbait story with leading titles and fake descriptions and an edited video. They say that the most successful propaganda is the one which does not pose as such. It deeply saddens and breaks our hearts reading horrifying comments and appalling accusations against His Holiness the Dalai Lama, orchestrated by a network of disinformation by various trolls, paid media and so-called influencers, clearly led and paid by the CCP, who have successfully weaponized social media at an unprecedented global scale. I'm sure those same trolls will be commenting on this video as they should, uh, that's what they are paid for, and I look forward to that. According to the research from Miburo, a firm that tracks foreign disinformation operations, at least 200 so-called influencers are operating in 38 different languages connected to the CCP government and or its state media. Freedom House, a nonprofit political advocacy group, found that Beijing's media influence efforts are heavily seen in 16 of the 30 countries across the globe. So please join us to combat this disinformation with your own researches kept with open minds and clear hearts. Before I show you the unedited clip, as my final words, I would like to remind the CCP, their lapdogs and their delusional sympathizers about what His Holiness the Dalai Lama means to us. Every Tibetan word that's salt will readily sacrifice themselves before forsaking him. Uh, let me say that again. Every Tibetan worth their salt will readily sacrifice themselves before forsaking His Holiness the Dalai Lama. And to my fellow Tibetans, we may lose our patience with this sad circus and, and at times we want to shout explicit lines at them, but we must rise above it. We know they are wrong. They have been wrong and they have continuously tried and failed to control or influence the narrative of our people and dictate our history. We may be standing alone in our expressions, but we stand with pride in our identity of peace-loving Tibetans under the wisdom and leadership of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Remember, we stood alone when our country was ruthlessly invaded and we faced a genocide. We stood alone as millions of Tibetans were massacred and it continues. We stood alone when our ancient monasteries and our cultures were destroyed. We stood alone 
as 168 Tibetans burn their bodies calling for freedom, we continue to stand alone. But united and together, we know we will stand a day longer than the CCP. Long live His Holiness, the 14 Dalai Lama of Tibet. Long live His Holiness, the 14 Dalai Lama of Tibet. Pergelo. Can I hug you? It's a question. <laughs> Okay, come. <laughs> Who's here? <laughs> then I think finally here also. <laughs> <laughs> And suck my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We are the same human brothers and sisters. Thank you. Now, you should look those good human beings who create peace, happiness, uh, should not follow those human beings who always killing other people. You should not look these people. Thank <laughs> you.